Hello everyone, it's me for Indian Russia 12, and uh, I'm here to talk about uh, FedEx Gaming's uh, working clock he made in 2015. Now, in his version, he had a cauldron right here, and on this feed tape was one cauldron going around. Now, Due to the recent updates, there's been a bug where you can't power any, you can't power a piston to push a, push a cauldron, as you can tell. For some reason, you can't push a cauldron with a piston anymore. Now, I found a way to fix this issue. As you can see, I have multiple cauldrons laid out all throughout the feed tape with each cauldron facing into the glass where the repeat and comparator comes out. Now the way I fixed this was let me place that down here where the let me delete that too. So you can see what I'm talking about. I put a solid block where the one solid block in the feed tape instead of a cauldron and then put the cauldrons down using one water bottle since instead of having to do what he was doing, putting it filled up and taking out two levels, one water bottle equals the whole process he was doing with this. As you can tell, it's taking a lot longer to do all of this than just the same amount. So. Now that you got that working and everything, the thing is, he also had a comparator right here. And uh, yeah, I found a way to pick block things on the game. But there's no way to use a cauldron or any way to power that. As you can tell, it's blocked on all sides. The way I found out to do it was if I put a repeater right there. And then I grabbed myself a redstone torch. If I can get up here. There we go. Right, there. And I put a redstone torch right here under this block with the repeater going out. It would cycle it all the way through. And put it into the right spot. Now. This may be a little bit more expensive now. But it is the only way I know that Ants could fix this problem. So. And sometimes it will glitch out like this. Simple solution, just cycle it through. And um, basically some, and sometimes you just have to mess with things a bit here and there. Like for instance, right here, I would, if I were, you know, me, I would actually break that, put a block right there, and then put it, um, where, yeah, right here, some redstone dust, where's the dust, there it is, right in there. And then, for here, I can just put a repeater, and then some dust, right there, or actually, kind of do this unprepared. Because uh, this wasn't doing what it was just doing now. But. Let's see. Where is that? Oh, there it is. I'm trying to find that block that was powering everything. So now I can delete that. Put a torch right there. Down two blocks. Dust right there. Then a repeater right there. And then up one, 
down one. And then, oh, wait, this repeater needs to be on a slab. Make sure that repeater I just put down was supposed to be on a slab so that it doesn't power, but power any of the, uh, anything. Because you're going to have to put a piece of dust down here. There's my dust. A torch to power it off. And then dust. Now it should be off and it won't bud power and burn out the torch. So if I fly up here, this part, same thing you did on the other one. Block up. And dust. Now, you may think that this is not going to work, but I'll prove to you since the fact is this and this. Oh, yeah. I, I, that's what I forgot. Oops. Crap. Crud sticks. Forgot one thing. In order to prevent this from budding out, well not budding out, but powering off, might need to add a, I would suggest a tripwire or a lever, just to uh, get the signal away from that block. I would do a tripwire because, you know, people can't turn it off and on and bud it out or burn it out. But, yes. Then place that, push it, and... Now, as you can tell, only this is on. Oh, oops. Almost got something. I goofed. I'm sorry. Because this is supposed to be a block. And then... Dust? No, wait. Yeah, wait. Done, goofed again. Repeater. Right there. Make sure it's not ticked, like I just accidentally did. And let's see here. If I go down one. Then I can put dust in here. I probably won't need that now. And then this is the side, correct? Yes. So I can put my torch there. Break that block. Put that dust there, and then that torch there. And do the same here. It's quite complicated doing all this. I understand it's a lot more expensive and all that. Blah de blah de blah. But on the bright side, you have it working again. You can finally show it off to all your friends and say, well, look what I made. I am special. So now break that. Break that. Dust. Torch. Should be all to fix. Let's just make sure. So right now, if I look at the clock, that one's powered. This is the button. Now that one's powered. Now if I press it again, now that one's powered. So far, so good. If we just keep going all the way around. Everything should be just fine. As you can tell, only that one's on. The others are off. Let's just go around. Make sure I didn't goof anything. Okay. Now that one's on. Good. That one. Oh, dust got broken off somehow. Now that's on. <laughs> Oops. Again. Now that one's on. 
It's all working. But as you can tell, this is the best way I know of. In my own opinion. To uh, fix this problem, someone might be smarter than me and figure out a way to fix it. But... Who knows? But all I know is thank God for, uh, you know, improv. Because I would not know what I would be doing if I wasn't improving and screwing around, messing with things. So as you can see over there, I was messing with the feed tape earlier, seeing what I can do about it. But now that, I don't, but that is how you fix FedEx Gaming's feed tape uh, with the cauldron issue. So I hope all of you will have a nice day. And uh, yeah, peace.